In this article, we will give you the basics of caring for seven trees that bloom in shades of purple. We will tell you where they grow, how they grow, and how you can get them started. But first, let's consider how purple flowering trees can turn your landscape into a haven for birds. And this is seven gorgeous purple flowering trees you need in your garden. Number one, chase tree. The chase tree is a low-maintenance, low-growing ornamental tree that originated around the Mediterranean. It may grow just four feet tall in cold winter climates, but growers in USDA hardiness Zone 9 may see their chase trees growing higher than their houses. The chase tree starts blooming in late summer when other purple flowering trees are finished for the season. Chase tree hardy in Zone 6 to 9. Number two, crate myrtle. The crate myrtle, also known as Ladrostromy. This tough disease resistant, heat loving woody plant may be a small tree. Crate myrtles don't start blooming until late spring or early summer, but once they begin their floral display, they keep on blooming until the first frost. Depending on the weather, their leaves may turn yellow, then red, and then orange in the fall. They grow in USDA growing zones seven through nine in sandy soils. Number three, desert willow. The desert willow isn't really a willow. It is actually related to catalpa trees and trumpet vines. Favored for its ruffled, fragrant purple blooms, this desert tree from Northern Mexico and West Texas does best with just enough water to keep it blooming. After the flowers fall, long seed pods will add to the artistic interest of the tree. They are also important hummingbird habitat. Grow in USDA hardiness, zones 7 through 11. Number 4. Eastern Redbud Tree Eastern Redbud bursts into purple or sometimes white blooms in early spring. Spring blooms are followed by purple pods of pea-like, seeds that hang on the tree as it leaves out, providing color contrast to the tree and food for birds and squirrels. Eastern redbuds are best used as an understory plant, but there are a variety of bloom colors that fit into every landscape design. Eastern redbuds do well in any well-drained soil and are cold tolerant in USDA hardiness, zones five through nine. Number five, fragrant lilac. Fragrant lilac is a popular choice for gardeners who live in cool summer climates. Sporting extremely fragrant, stunning purple flowers, lilacs put on long lasting light purple flowers in late April, or may their flowers attract the first butterflies of the spring and their leaves provide food for early spring caterpillars. They cannot tolerate hot, humid summers so they should be planted in USDA hardiness, zones four through seven. Number six, Jacaranda tree. Anyone who spends late spring in Los Angeles will notice the blooming Jacaranda trees. Their trumpet shaped purple flowers are fragrant as well as beautiful for several weeks in late spring and early summer. Jacarandas make great street trees and shade trees but they are not suitable for small yards. A jacaranda tree can grow up to 66 feet tall. Fahrenheit will kill it. Hardiness zones 10 through 11. Number seven, Texas mountain laurel. Texas mountain laurel is a favorite landscape plant for dry climates and rocky soils. Bearing purple to blue flowers for several weeks around the time of the last frost. Mountain laurels stand up to heat, cold, rocky and alkaline soils and drought. Texas mountain laurel survives winters in USDA hardiness, zones six through 11. It bears bright green foliage all year round. It is very difficult to start Texas mountain laurels from seed, so it is best to buy a plant from a nursery. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.